the Ukrainian Bandurist Chorus is an all-male ensemble founded in 1918 in Kyiv, Ukraine, capital of Ukraine. Basically, since 1949, the Ukrainian Bandura's Chorus has been based out of Detroit, traveled throughout the world, mainly in North America, Australia, Europe, Ukraine. And what is the chorus today compared to what it was when it was first founded, or even in 1949? The chorus still has the same mission. We're the ambassadors of the 60-stringed instrument, the Bandura, and Ukrainian culture and Ukrainian music. Our current project is recording music to the words of Taras Shevchenko. This year marks the 200th anniversary uh, from the year of the birth of Taras Shevchenko, who is Ukraine's greatest poet. Uh, he was also an artist, uh, a humanist, a, a cultural activist, and his words ring out true through today. And they're celebrated throughout the world. His poems and uh, songs to his words are sung. And the Ukrainian Bandurist Chorus is actually named the Taras Shevchenko Ukrainian Bandurist Chorus. And what we decided to do is record some of the music, but it's not necessarily the traditional Shevchenko music. We have many works that are either brand new or compositions that very few ensembles have ever recorded or performed. So it gives a pretty uh, wide range of music to the words of Taras Shevchenko. Uh, the album will be recorded in Lakewood Hall, Ohio at Grace Lutheran Church, which has graciously uh, welcomed the Ukrainian Bandurist Chorus to its home to, uh, to be allowed to record the music in the months of April and May of 2014 over the stretch of three recording sessions in total of uh, seven days. The funds that come to support this project uh, deal with the ability to record, uh, to obtain the correct equipment to record. Uh, over the course of those three weekends, our largest expense is the travel expenses. Our members already donate their time, it's all volunteer based. From California to New York, from Edmonton, Alberta, Toronto, Philadelphia, Washington DC, Cleveland, Detroit, and I'm sure I'm missing some cities as well. And those that travel in for the 12 to 15 hours of rehearsal and recording, this is the least that we can do for them. So the majority of expenses do go help to cover those travel expenses for those weekends and also for the production of the CD and other miscellaneous expenses that come up with, as I said, renting the gear and uh, the production of the actual recording. One great way to find out more about our group and the history of the Bandura is to go to our website, which is uh, bandura.org. You can also uh, visit us on Facebook. We post on a frequent basis. You see the current activity of the group. And we're a Ukrainian Banderist Chorus uh, on Facebook. And there's contact numbers, there's emails, and that's really the best way, both Facebook and our web page.